This is nice though. I'm getting older. It's a young guy. A couple of young people like you in the middle. You don't know what I'm going to talk about in a minute. You're not going to understand. I'm getting older. You'll get it. <laughs> Sorry. This happened last Tuesday. I woke up, my knee swollen and was killing me. The whole day I spent thinking about what I possibly could have done the day before, because <laughs> I am extremely inactive. So how did that happen? <laughs> I went to CVS, had to get a wrap. All the like knee wraps showed where you can still be active. Like every knee wrap was like, you could play basketball today. You can work. I'm like, I'm not going to need that kind of wrap. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna need to be able to sit and relax as I watch TV. Do you have that rap? <laughs> I went to bed that night, woke up the next morning, my knee was fine. Like it never even hurt. My shoulder shot. Couldn't even feel my shoulder. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to my body. But as you're old, you can't run to the doctor every time something twitches, you'll be there every day. <laughs> the only time I go to the doctor nowadays when two things are messed up at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm coughing and limping at the same time, then I go. It's like, <clears throat> Why? Okay, why? <laughs> why is that moving? I gotta get that looked at. I've been going to the same, like, you know, like over my lifespan, I've gone to three different doctors. My pediatrician until I was 15. Then from 15 to 22, I was going to a doctor. Every time he would diagnose me, he would give me the same diagnosis, swollen glands, no matter what I came in with. I'd be like, <coughs> okay, the swollen glands. I'm like, did you, I think it's pneumonia. You wanna get a better look? He was giving me a physical once. He felt right here. He goes, oh, there's a swollen gland. I'm like, there? There's, there's a gland there? Okay. Last time I went to him, I had a like, knot right here. Just like right here, like this weird knot in my groin. And I was 22, very scared. You know what I mean? Like, please. <laughs> Get in here with, a, with some mirrors and lights and find out why that's there right now. He was like, oh, right here? Oh, it's a swollen gland. I'm like, is that the last chapter you read? <laughs> So I stopped going to the doctor until I was in my 40s. Now my doctor's only diagnosis for me is you gotta lose weight every time. <laughs> you gotta lose weight. I'm like, are you trying to fight me? Because I will punch you in your face. <laughs> and have you checked my glands? How are my glands? <laughs> what if it's just like a big giant gland? You don't even know. <laughs> Why don't you read my chart? Do you even know your patients? I was out of town once, I went to, like, I had to go to one of those little, you know, those like ready-made, like urgent care doctors, not like a real doctor, it's like a strip mall doctor. <laughs> it's a pizzeria, dollar store, emergency facility, <laughs> laundry mat. I've never been there ever. I'm sitting in his office, he comes in the room, he's like, wow, you look horrible. You don't know me. <laughs> this could be my everyday face. I could be here for my ankle, you big jerk. It just made me so uncomfortable when I got back home and made an appointment to see my doctor. I'm like, can you do some blood work? Find out why I look so sick to strangers? <laughs> he goes, we're gonna do some blood work. He goes, you also need an ultrasound. An ultrasound? How fat am I? <laughs> am I pregnant? <laughs> like, it doesn't work like that. He sent me for an ultrasound. I was so, I don't like, here's one of my things. I don't like taking my shirt off in front of people. I'm very uncomfortable with my body. I'm fat, I'm white, I'm very shiny. <laughs> I don't like it. I was just hoping there was old people, like an old doctor, but it was two beautiful girls running the machine. I had to take my shirt off and there I am. You know what I look like? Do you ever go to a pizzeria and you see like the blob of dough? <laughs> like the big blob of dough and then they make little balls and they make little pizza balls? That's what I look like. I look like someone's getting ready to come in and pop out little pizza balls. <laughs> I'm just laying there, fat everywhere, just, uh, and she takes this jelly, it's like, I felt like she was basting a turkey. I felt so much shame that day. I go back to my doctor, he goes, yeah, your ultrasound was fine, but you do have a fatty liver. Yep. Why would I not? <laughs> so my body's fat, but my liver is just beautiful, shred it. Goes to the gym every day, ripped, beautiful, beautiful ripped liver. <laughs> a week later, he calls you back. He's like, Mike, your cholesterol and sugar are very high. You got to cut back on carbs. You got to kind of quit candy. And he just said it like, 
quick in. You're just like, dead. you know what I mean? Like, like, he didn't tell me to get my family in, like, or nothing. You know what I mean? Like, like, let's bring, this is some serious news I'm getting ready to drop on you. Just, you told me I can never have another, you know, peanut butter cup. You don't think my mom should be here to hold me right now? <laughs> He's like, well, I need you to quick candy. I'm like, well, I'm not gonna, so what else can I do? He said, don't you want to see your children grow up, maybe have grandchildren? I'm like, absolutely, but I also want Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> Back to the lab, invent a pill. <laughs> you think I'm quitting peanut butter cups for grandchildren? <laughs> I'm not gonna quit candy for my kids that are actually alive. You want me to give them up for a couple of maybe kids? <laughs> Hypothetical children? No, I don't think so. What if they're jerks? What if I don't like them? Now I have a resentment because I quit candy. It's not worth it. 